fighting for what we're trying to get, the change that we're trying to be part of. You know, a lot of people talk about it, but you got to step out of the cannabis closet. Come on up here, Arthur. Arthur. Go get it up for my buddy Arthur Mayer, this guy. I just gotta give him the mic, he's incredible. Here you go, bud. Come on. Howdy do me, DFW Cannabis Nation. Listen, my name is Arthur Mayer, and I'm an advocate for three things. I'm an advocate for decriminalization, for establishing a medical cannabis program in the state of Texas, and for a tax and regulate system in this state so people can go down to the dispensary and get it anytime they want and smoke it. I'd like to talk to you today about uh, the moral parity, the moral imperative when you are advocating for cannabis. There are many reasons that people can advocate for uh, cannabis reform in this state. Uh, some people want to make money. They, they want to invest in stocks. They want to uh, they want to grow houses. They want to you know, get dispensaries. They want to make money. And there's nothing wrong with that. So that's a good thing. Uh, some people want relief from debilitating disease, and that that is that is right too. That's that's really. I think to me, in my opinion, is, is the thing we should be pushing for the most for people that are hurting and in pain and sick and dying. Um, again, there's many people that just want to uh, guarantee freedom of the Constitution to decide as free adults what they want ingest in their bodies, especially when it's less harmful than tobacco, alcohol, opates, and many, many pharmaceuticals. And last but not least, I think this is a great fight too. And there are millions that are unjustly incarcerated and given sentences that do not match the crime that are in prison right now. And, and there are ethnic races that have been targeted and decimated by the laws of, of cannabis in this state and in this nation. You may ask me, what is the moral imperative? What is the moral imperative? A moral imperative is a principle originating inside a person's mind that compels that person to act. It's the basic experience of encountering the right. To really build a moral foundation, you have, you have to believe something. You have to believe something. And the foundation for a moral imperative is this. There is no intrinsic evil in cannabis. And there is no moral failure in its responsible consumption. Do you believe that? That's right, there's no intrinsic evil in cannabis. Uh, and there's no moral failure. Let me ask you a few questions. Is it right to put people in prison for a plant that harms no one? And no. persons with a plant has harmed no one. Is that right? No. That's morally wrong to do that. Is it right to withhold whole plant from individuals that are battling disease when this plant will either cure or improve their quality of life? Is that right? No. That's right, it's immoral. Is there a right to waste? Is, is, it, is it right to waste billions, and trillions of dollars on taxpayers' monies and enforce on the world a policy that has a result of putting millions of people in prison and causing or outright killing millions of good people around the world on a failed, immoral policy that is evil in its origination and continuance? Do you believe that? Yeah. It's immoral to do that. I would like to suggest. You to you that if you settle this principle of the moral imperative that you are in the right and it's immoral for the politicians of this land to do what they've done in this country and to its citizens and its people, then I or anybody in the cannabis movement wouldn't need to ask you to get involved. You wouldn't be doing it because if you believe this, if you believe this, you can't do nothing else but get involved. Thank you very much. Y'all make some noise for Arthur Mayer. Are you tired of people being locked up for a plant that does nothing but help them? Are you tired of it? This is medicine, and people are getting locked up in cages like animals for possession of medicine. Are you tired of it? Yeah. Seriously, guys. Man, give it up for my boy Arthur one more time. Make some noise. We got Massacre next. Ready? Come on up, buddy. Y'all make some noise.